The goal for this video is to demonstrate how to improve the shooting ability of an advanced basketball player through various drills and practice. The motor skills that will be taught will be the jump shot, the free throw, and the three-point shot. The skill level for the advanced basketball player will have had eight years of experience. They will have experience playing at a high school level and on a collegiate level. And they will have the knowledge of the basic fundamentals of how to play basketball. The practice session will include a warm up for 15 minutes, serial practice for 25 minutes, random practice for 35 minutes, a scrimmage and retention test for 35 minutes, and a cool down for 10 minutes. For the warm up, the learner will jog around the court. The player will then dribble the ball across the court. After dribbling, the shooter will start practicing his shot around the court, and after 15 minutes, he will proceed to the next progression of the workout. After a 15 minute warm up, we'll have the athlete move on to a 25 minute block of serial practice. During serial practice, we'll have the athlete be shooting a jump shot, a free throw, and a three point shot in that order for the entire 25 minute block. To add variation, we can have the athlete shoot from different locations, but still in that order from those three different distances from the hoop. After 25 minutes of serial practice, the athlete should feel comfortable shooting from these three different distances. Serial practice has the lowest amount of contextual interference and should make the athlete feel comfortable with the skills. After they feel comfortable, we'll move on to an activity with a greater amount of contextual interference. After serial practice, we will begin random practice. During random practice, the athlete will be shooting his free throws, jump shots, and three-point shots, this time in a completely random order for the entire 35 minutes of random practice. During random practice, we're having the coach throw the ball to the athlete in a completely random order to random positions on the court, indicating whether the player should be taking the jump shot, free throw, or three-point shot. The athlete has no idea where the coach will be throwing the ball next and has to adapt to where to shoot the ball from. In order to increase variability, we're having the athlete shoot from the left side of the court as well as the right side of the court for each of the different shots. A pair of shoes, some old reviews that you kicked behind. After 35 minutes of random practice, have the athlete do a one on one scrimmage. Having a defender present will help simulate game like conditions. While the athlete is doing the scrimmage, the coaches will be able to record the number of shots made against the number of shots taken in order to see how accuracy has improved. Look back at home, we fix old radios, wiping off the dusted tins. So, please, please don't.
After the athlete is finished with the scrimmage, have them perform a 10 minute cool down, which will include a light jog and some dribbling drills while jogging around the court. Inside the bedroom drawer, cause all the paint and the stains, all the papers and the fumes, they're all of you, they stay alive and inside the things. When introducing random practice to an athlete for the first time, it may be frustrating at first because it'll feel like they're performing poorly in the first time of practice. But if continued, random practice has the highest amount of contextual interference, which will lead to the largest amount of long-term retention, which results in higher performance in a game.